Hi, this is Glenda. In today's video, has to do with bunnies. It will have some bunny embeds. So I'm starting the soap by mixing carrot powder because I figure bunnies like carrots and with some water. I'm using one tablespoon and this should color the soap a light yellow tone. Um, most of the ingredients that I will be using in this soap except for the embeds will be natural meaning I'm using natural colorants like the carrot powder and I will also be using essential oils instead of a fragrance. For my bottom notes I will be using benzoin and cedar wood essential oils and then for the middle note I will be using lavender 4042 and to finish the top note will be lemongrass. Overall, it smells really fresh and bright. Now I'm gonna put on my face shield so that I can start making the soap. Here I have the light water solution, which you can tell that it developed a light lint, which is just a film from exposure to oxygen. Um, I'm going to be using a colander to catch those, but it's not harmful to leave them or drain them. I'm going to add sodium lactate because I want to be able to remove this from the mold fairly quickly. I'm gonna just put a couple teaspoons of it. The light water solution was at room temperature, which was 25 Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit, while the oils are 39 Celsius or 102 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to give them a quick stir and then I'm going to add the light water solution to them. I'll keep stirring them for about a minute and then I'm going to use a stick blender to reach emulsion. Once I reach emulsion phase, I'm going to split this in half because I will be making two soaps out of it. In this video, I'm gonna show you the first soap and in a future video, the other one. Next, I'm gonna show you a picture of the rabbit that was the inspiration for this soap, or I should say one of the rabbits. His name is Houdini and he belongs to Jennifer from Gen Spice. Last year, she ordered some soaps from me and she gave me carte blanche to pick the soaps for her. She made a few choices, but the rest she told me for me to pick. And since there were a few weeks until the time she needed to get them by, I decided to make her a couple of the soaps. The bunnies that I made do not quite look like her Angora rabbits, but I was inspired by their colors, so I chose to make brown uh, bunnies. I'm going to add the carrot powder that I had dissolved in water to this portion and I'm going to first just blend it and then stick blend it. I can tell now that the soap is at light trays. So I pour about half of it into the mold and then I try to do a pencil line with nettle leaf powder. And I say tried because it didn't quite work out. I believe I should have waited for this layer to be a little bit more set up before trying to add something on top because even though I was using a spatula to break the fall, um, the other soap was digging into the top layer and in the end it just all became blended. After a few minutes the soap was solid enough that I could put the embeds without them sinking in and I started adding the rabbits or bunnies. I do have a video on how I made them. Here is an abbreviated version of that. If you want to see the full version video on the making of the bunny, I'm going to include a link in the description box below. 
If you want to skip ahead to the next version of the video though, you can do that using the links in the description box to go to the next chapter. After adding the bunnies though, I thought that the soap looked sort of naked, it looked like something was missing. So I grabbed some soap shavings that I had of a very pale green color and I tried to put them underneath so that it would look like grass. And then I found a little bit of soap dough that was green color so I just fashioned some quick pieces to make them look like leaves and then later with some orange soap dough. I quickly shaped it into just elongated forms so that they will look like carrots as well. The following morning, I removed them from the mold. I had used a 40% light to water concentration, so it became hard really fast. Um, I don't like the look of the nettle leaf, if I'm honest, because it, it looks like it's just dirty because it's, you know, you know it's a, like a dark green color. However, hopefully she knows it is not dirt. Once I cut it, I could see that the pencil line had not been successful, but instead the Natalie fat powder had gone all over the bar. Um, it did feel like the bar was a little too moist, so I decided to wait to cut the rest until it had dried some more. To me, the bars still look a little bit naked, so I decided to add some sky background. I just use some soap dough and it's mirrored on top to make it look like uh, the sky and also like some clouds. Uh, normally I probably would have left them but because these soaps were for her birthday I wanted her to get something that was uh, nice and special. Here are some pictures of how the final bars look. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye!